each time you breathe in, breathe out, remember you're choosing to stay with the breath. You've made that choice to begin with. You want to train the mind, and then you want to stick by that choice. And that requires repeated choices again and again. This is where you're going to stay, because your mind could wander anywhere. Nobody's keeping tabs. Nobody's keeping track. But you have to ask yourself, what are you going to get out of it? Because your choices do make a difference. You spend all your time planning for the next day, and then the next day it doesn't come. Or things are very different from what you thought they might be, and you have to throw the plans away. But if you focus on the qualities you know you need regardless of what comes up, things like mindfulness and alertness, okay, then you've prepared yourself well. So it's not like we're just sitting here in the present moment and not thinking about the future at all. We have an eye to the future as to what our current actions are going to result in. And then we focus on doing the best we can here in the present moment. We always have to keep that in mind. The Buddha's basic teaching is the teaching on karma. Our actions are things we choose to do, and they have results. And the results are going to come to us. So remember, there are choices we have to make, and things we have to say yes to, and things we have to say no to. Once you get a sense of being here with the breath, then it's a lot easier to make wiser choices, because you can see more clearly where your thoughts are coming from, what intentions lie behind them, what qualities lie behind the intentions, and where those thoughts are going to go. It was when the Buddha was able to pull out of his thought worlds and realize, okay, his thoughts are going someplace and they're coming from someplace. Okay, they're coming from greed, aversion, and delusion, or they're coming from lack of greed, lack of aversion, lack of delusion. And then he could see where they were leading. He realized the ones that were from greed, aversion, and delusion had to be brought under control. That really made a difference. In fact, it was that realization that actually got him on the path. So try to keep that realization going in your day. As you sit, meditate, as you walk around, you're making choices of what to do with your mind. So try to keep it with a breath so you can see those choices more clearly. And you find that you'll benefit as a result. The people around you will benefit, too. There's less greed and aversion coming out through your thoughts, words, and deeds, because there's less of it in the mind. Everybody benefits that way.